Hello and welcome to my pure face. Full face of pure? <laughs> Today I will be doing a full face of makeup using only pure products. Now I have already done my skincare routine. Of course my hair is mostly done. So that is out of the way. Let's dive in. I did a little shop yesterday. I have been collecting Pure products for a while now. You all know that I absolutely love their shadow palettes and I thought I might as well try some of their other products as well. I have used the Pure blush and contour in my previous videos, but that is it. The rest of the items here are brand new. So I'm going to start off with the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer, Energize and Rescue with Aloe, Coconut Water and Probiotics. Now this is just a tester that the drugstore gave me. So the packaging is a little different than the actual product, but same ingredients inside. So I'm just going to take... This is really runny for a primer. Let's see how it does. And I always bring my foundation down my neck so that I'm not getting a line. So I try to bring the primer down as well. The next product is brand new. And this is the Pure 4-in-1 Sculpting Concealer, Brighten and Hydrate. So I've been using the Bobbi Brown on my eyelids, and so it'll definitely be interesting to see how this one does. And I'm going to put a little bit on my scar there. This one definitely has a little bit more of a peach tone to it than the Bobbi Brown. I might actually really like this one because it really kind of gives you a blank slate for under the primer. I always try to remember, sometimes, a lot of times I forget, but I always try to remember to put a little bit of primer on the nose because I get so dark in the creases, my nose creases. <laughs> yeah, actually I really like this as a eye lid primer or eyeshadow primer. I really like that. Yeah, this does very well as a as a eyeshadow primer. Now I didn't exfoliate my face last night. I really should have. So hopefully this will all set nicely. You guys all know that I have the On Point Wednesday and Saturday palettes. Well, I got Thursday. <laughs> So the first one I'm going to take is the light color and that is going to go all over my lid. The next color I'm going to go in with is Wine Time, my favorite, although I haven't been drinking wine lately. I've been really trying to cut it out. And I'm just going to go on the crease of my eyelid. I like this color. I've been really trying to experiment more with eyeshadow colors. You'll, you'll notice in my upcoming videos that I'm bringing a lot more palettes in. Uh, so far, I pretty much just have the Pure, and then I do have a couple of drugstore brands. 
but I'm really wanting to try like the NARS and what was the other one that I can't remember the name of it but they will be in my upcoming videos and this eyeshadow is awesome because you can build on it So now I'm going to go in with the Friday Junior and that one's going to be more focused on the outside of my eye. One thing I'm really learning is that I really got to blend. I'm really bad at blending. I don't blend near enough. So you guys, in my last video, I had very excitedly told you guys that I was getting my BK brushes. I didn't get them. They, I think they got held up a little bit. Now it's saying I'll get them this Tuesday. So we will see if I actually get them. I'm so excited to get them. I've never had a really good quality brush So definitely looking forward to that. Now they finished my last video. You guys probably heard me talking about the noise because they finally came and did the grading in our yard and we were able to talk them into bringing us a big rock in our front yard. It looks awesome. They stood it up. They had to like dig, dig down to almost the clay. And well, I say almost, no, there was clay. <laughs> and yeah, um, it's gonna look awesome. Once we get the gravel and all the wood tracing the yard, it's gonna look really good. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm blending this out really well. Now I'm going to go in with, it's called Happy Hour. This one I'm just going to use my finger. It's not going on the greatest, maybe if I use my brush. And I will bring that to the inner corner. Very nice. I like this palette. So now I'm going to take some makeup remover. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. I really don't need much. It's just to clean this up here. And then I can take the brush and just smooth it in it smooth it out a little bit. All right, foundation. Now this is, I can't even read this, Blush Medium Pure Foundation Stick. Their packaging is just brilliant. Let's give this a try. And because my BK brushes have not come in yet, I am still using the Il Maquillage foundation brush. I'm really getting into using a brush for the foundation versus the sponge. Technically, I could be using the sponge on this one because it is quite a bit thicker. But now that I know how to, to apply <laughs> with the brush, I'm liking the results. Should have put a little bit of concealer on that. Still there, guys, and I burnt that like over two weeks ago. I 
I'm liking the foundation, I gotta say. So far, not disappointed by any of these per products. I knew I wouldn't be by the eyeshadow. But the foundation, I have to say I'm very surprised. I am surprised that it's got really good coverage. It spreads nice. I like it. So now that I am done with the foundation, I'm going to use the Pure Blushing Act Matte Blush, and this color is Pretty in Peach. It is just stunning. I absolutely love this blush. It's very, very pigmented. So you definitely gotta be gentle. <laughs> very light. You don't want to add too, too much or you end up looking like a clown. Before we get any further, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. So the bleach, the bleach, the blush is done. <laughs> and now we are going to go in with the Mineral Glow Illuminating Bronzer. Went a little heavy handed there. And of course, those nasty gels. You definitely don't need much of these. I think I over applied the bronzer. I think I got a little bit too much. <laughs> I'm really getting into the cream bronzers. I didn't think I would, but they blend so, so nice. I'm gonna bring that down my neck. They're more subtle, I find. The next product I'm using is the Pure Fully Charged Mascara, powered by Magnetic Technology. Now this was a tester as well that came in a little bag that I got. And so let's give this a try. We all know the Smashbox is my all-time favorite mascara. So let's see how this does. It's just a little guy. I'm already not liking it. I guess it could be buildable, but Come on, got a little clump there. Definitely no Smashbox. Even the Wattier, I was really liking. I tried that on in my last video and I really liked it. This one, I'm glad I didn't buy a full size because I wouldn't use it. Now the one thing I just realized I missed getting was a brow wax or brow pencil. I know I was looking at them and I didn't care for 
the application the way that you had to ap apply it. But I thought I grabbed one, but I didn't. Yeah, not too big of a fan of their mascara. On to the lips. I'm going to use this pure, I don't have the box, but it is a lip pencil. And as you can see, it just looks like a really thick lip liner. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use this as a lip liner. I think it's just a lipstick, but I'm gonna use it as a lip liner. I think I'm gonna look into Botox for my lip, uh, this side. Do you notice how this side kind of droops down? And then I'm always over trying to overcompensate with the lip liner. Not big on this as a lip liner. I think it's actually just a lipstick. So I'm gonna blend it in. I made a mess of my upper lip here. Oh my. Yeah, this is not a lip liner. And then this one is new. This is the Four in one lip duo, dual enriched matte lipstick and lip oil. Okay, not too bad. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this off. Yeah, I needed a lip liner and I didn't, that was all I saw. They didn't have a lip liner there. Maybe they do online. So now I'm gonna use the oil. Lip oils are really in, I've noticed. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Definitely not my first pick for lipsticks, but you know, it's not bad. So that is it. That is my face up here. <laughs> If you guys haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and most importantly, ring that bell so that you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.